Today we're searching for the squirrel tail on the tails of Mountain Creek Ranch. Squirrels, they are crazy fun to watch. And the reason why we love to watch them is they're always watching something else. In fact, there's a thing called the squirrel syndrome, and it's a disease of distraction. I think I've had it before, and I know we have people on our teams that have the squirrel syndrome. So what do we do about it? I never knew that there were 280 different species of squirrels. I also didn't know that squirrels are born blind and that they live 12 weeks with their mom and their eyesight starts to come into focus at that time. But no wonder they're always looking around for things. They couldn't see for the first few weeks of their life. They're hanging out with mom for 12 weeks. So they get out there, they got a lot to look at. So they're extremely distracted. The one really amazing thing I found out about squirrels is their sense of smell is incredible. They can actually find a nut 12 inches underneath the snow. Dig down, find it, bring it up, and crack it. Squirrels. There's always something to look at. So have you ever had an employee on your team that suffered from the squirrel syndrome? You know, they were always looking over here, looking over there, oh, I see that, oh, I see that. I'm chasing squirrels all day long. Never really getting anything done. Or maybe you yourself have suffered from the squirrel syndrome. So what do I do about it? I've got five steps that I think work really well to master the squirrel syndrome. The first one truly is that we need to limit screen time. Banners exist on our screens for a reason. When we open any kind of safari or any kind of uh, landing page, those banners pop up for squirrel syndrome reasons. They distract us and all of a sudden we think, oh, I might like to know that answer. or Oh, I might like to hear about that. So limiting that screen time is an important thing to do for yourself and your team or have set times a day when screen time is important. I think the second thing truly is give them something to hunt. Set a goal. A squirrel that knows there's a nut 12 inches under that snow isn't going to be distracted until it gets there. So setting a goal, giving them something to hunt, giving them that nut to get to, that's the most important thing that we can do. But if that nut is more than 12 inches away, if that nut requires an awful lot of time to get to it, we need milestones along the way. So that's our third best practice, is create milestones for squirrel syndrome people to where they have something to celebrate, something to achieve along the way to the nut. The fourth best practice to help somebody with a squirrel syndrome truly is a defined plan. So if we know what the nut is that we're trying to crack, having a plan to get there, and the milestones, of course, that we've talked about, but having that plan clearly defined is important. And then lastly is a different location every now and then for the work because that keeps us focused. The squirrel tail is one of my favorite tails to find here at Mountain Creek Ranch. He's got a lot of things to look at here. I hope you continue to watch our Tales of Mountain Creek Ranch. Go to our YouTube channel, subscribe at at Tales, T-A-I-L-S, M-C-R. We'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.